Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we will go into this uh, Hello World application and we will see what all things are there. Okay, so here we have already seen the folder structure. We will just directly go into the pages and we will take a look on to the index.js. So here you already see the head. So head is nothing but a, this is HTML head which we are getting from next and we are creating tag. So here whatever the meta tags you wanted to put all these meta tags you can put here like uh, search engine optimization meta tags you can put the title description or twitter card information facebook information all this information you can put so this is helpful for uh, search engine optimization okay rest all is your body part here you can render your content it can be a custom react component and this is just nothing but a footer okay so what we are doing here is you can see we are applying the styles using CSS modules styles.container and how it is looking up on the browser you can see I, I put a, uh, this title okay this title is having class or uh, title right so how it is getting converted this is a dynamic class is assigned to it so that there is no conflict okay you can see the h1 there is some dynamically generated hash code is added to this title class and now this title class property you can see all these whatever we have defined similarly for the same for the container here we have the container the definition of container is defined in the styles here is the container right so there is no conflict on collision of the CSS definitions happening and this is how our server side rendered application is running rest all is a JavaScript which we are loading in the bottom okay now this public folder all the public artifacts now you can see the APIs sometimes you need to get the data from the APIs mock APIs is created here this app.js is we will use these placeholders app.js document.js which will override the default definition provided by next.js like document how you wanted to format a document you wanted to fix few meta tags for each and every page you will put that in the document okay and rest all you can keep creating the pages like in the pages I wanted to create a home and then I mean it can be a simple contact.js or inside a folder you can create a file like I created a contact.js or inside home you can create index.js these will automatically get linked okay so this is how it is working and we are able to just run this application and when you do the npm run build this next folder is created here you can see the cache and the server side rendered pages here okay default error page also gets added so if you try to hit something then it should render the 404 page for us right error page it is showing okay so from next video we will try to just put some more routes in this uh, server in the pages and we will see how it is working how we can create a simple header footer in the body we will just render the dynamic content based on the pages and first of all we will create a layout basic layout so, th so that every page can follow that same layout having same header and footer only the body content keeps changing so we can create a common layout which every component will inherit and that layout will be the root component, okay?